Using the mean value theorem, we're going to prove the following claim. x to the power 4 plus 4x plus c has at most two solutions for any constant c. So proof goes as follows. We are going to use a proof by contradiction. So, uh, And we define, we take a functional approach in the sense that we define a function and use the properties of this function. So we define for any constant c, fc in x equals x to the power 4 plus 4x plus c. Um, this is a polynomial of degree 4, so f is continuous and it's differentiable. Yeah, so on any interval, closed interval, we know that f is continuous and on the, if we leave out the boundary points, f will be differentiable as well. Now we use a proof by contradiction, so assume that there are more than two solutions. Yeah, so suppose, and if we have more than two solutions, this, this means that we should have at least three solutions. Yeah, so assume that there are at least three solutions to the equation fcx equals zero. Well, this means that we can find numbers x1, x2, and x3 not equal, unequal numbers x1, x2, x3, such that fc evaluated in one of these equals zero. Yeah, so here is the picture. So suppose x1 is smaller than x2, and x2 is smaller than x3, which makes them unequal. Then we know that by roller or the mean value theorem, that yeah, so we have equal values of f equals zero. That on both intervals, x1, x2, and x2, x3, there should be numbers such that the derivative of the function over there equals zero. Yeah, so first of all, consider the interval x1, x2. There should be a y1 in x1, x2 with f prime c y1 equals zero. And also, for the same reason, we should be able to find a y2 in x2, x3 with the property that the derivative vanishes in this point, so it should be equal to zero. So it should be clear that y1 is unequal to y2. Yeah. So x1, x2, and x2, x3, the open intervals are disjoint, so y1 cannot be equal to y2. However, consider now the derivative. So the derivative of the function equals 3 x to the power 3 plus 4 and we may decompose, we may factorize this, this term as follows. You may check it yourself. So this equals 4 times x, one, x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1. And notice that x squared minus x plus 1 is never equal to 0. It's always larger than 0. So the derivative has only one unique root. So f prime c x equals 0 has a unique solution and this solution is given by x equals minus 1. In particular this means that there cannot be y1 and a different y2 such that the derivative over there equals 0. So this gives us the desired contradiction. Yeah, so the direction lays in the fact that we assumed at least three solutions. So as soon as we arrived at a contradiction, this assumption cannot be true. And we have shown that there are, are at most two solutions.